What's up, YouTube? So in this segment of First Take, they're talking to A-Rod about um, a couple of his friends that just made it into the Hall of Fame. And they're talking to him about uh, steroid use um, amongst Hall of Famers. And if you use, use steroids, should you be able to get into the Hall of Fame? Um, I'm going to say I'm going to probably have to say no for me because it questions everything you've done. We have no clue, you know, at what point you started. Maybe your whole career you've been using steroids, and that's why you've been able to do what you do. You put yourself in that type of situation to question your whole career if you use steroids. So let's see what A Rod and uh, everybody on First Take have to say about that. Than those two, but. Alex, well, you know, when, when we talk about Bonds and we talk about Clemens, obviously the, the, the words PEDs, it's going to, you know, PED use, it's going to come up. That's the bottom line. Obviously, when people talk about, when people talk about you, they're going to bring that up. What is your feeling about those who have been associated with PED use in this era? So it's pretty stupid to ask A-Rod, you know, whether or not, somebody should be able to get into Hall of Fame if they've been convicted or caught using steroids because he's been caught using steroids. So, I mean, what do you think he's going to say? I mean, what do you think he's going to say? Of course, he's going to say, yes, everybody should be able to get in because he wants to get in and he, he should be able to get in with. Um, I mean, I don't want to say he shouldn't. He shouldn't because he was caught, but he was such a good player that he didn't need to use steroids when it's obvious. You can tell when he started it, but you know, he didn't need to. So that's a, it's a predicament that he put himself in to have people question it. Being omitted from the Hall of Fame, do you think it should be automatic disqualification? Do you think it should be ignored? How do you judge? How do you measure whether a guy is a Hall of Famer when they've been associated with those things? I mean, Stephen, you're asking the wrong person. Of course, I want them to get in because that would mean that, that I have an opportunity to get in one day. Uh, look, I pray every day that I, I get a chance to get in. Uh, the Hall of Fame is the ultimate place. I got three of my really good friends got in last night. We were throwing a party down here at the 305 for uh, Musina, Edgar, and, and Mo, and, of course, uh, the, the late Doc Holliday. Um, but, look, here's the, the saddest part for me is, is, is for, for players like, like all of us, really. But if you think about Roger and Barry specifically, if you stop their career at the age of 33 or 34, they were both in the first ballad, and, and then the noise started. So for me, it's just a shame. I am certainly cheering for both of them. I, I like them both very much. They're both friends, and uh, I I'm, I'm in their corner. Alex, let me give you my theory on this. I want to hear how you respond. Um, I think with players where it's obvious where the juicing started. Clemens was in decline steadily. I would say he's borderline Hall of Famer if you take his Boston career. He goes to Toronto, wins back-to-back -to -back Cy Young triple crowns. Clearly, that's where it's, I mean, obviously. Barry Bonds was already one of the greatest players in history when he came back from it. That's what I throw, I want to, I'd like to throw in there that Barry Bonds has always been a baller. One of the greatest hitters of all time. You know, so, and he, he's never been caught. He's never been caught. You know, people want to speculate and everything like that, but he's been a baller since day one. Day one. So, I don't know. It's really up in the air for whatever whatever you think, you know, who should get in, who shouldn't. Injury, all of a sudden, his home run to at that ratio doubles at the age of 35. A-Rod, a he was getting on base 60% of the time and slugging eight something. He had never sniffed that as great as he was before the juice, right? I, honestly, for me, in your case, it's much more difficult because I don't see, I can't pinpoint a time he started juicing then because you entered the league as a phenom and had one of the all time great rookie seasons. And I didn't notice any sudden and dramatic physical change in you coupled with a sudden and dramatic change in your production. And people like to point out that, you know, some of the players are getting bigger. You know, Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa are looking swole. They're looking like, you know, NFL linebackers. Right around that time, uh, a lot of people started using creatine. A lot of people started uh, drinking uh, protein shakes. I mean, it, it was a thing to get bigger and stronger at that point in time. Now, w once again, you know, uh, uh, baseball players were really working out to get big, to, to crush the ball. It was a time period when people were really 
uh, starting to work out and get bigger and stronger. And it, it's not that hard for a professional athlete that that all they have to do all day is to work out, get bigger, get stronger. They have the top notch trainers. They have the top notch top notch food. They can eat. They can buy uh fifty dollars worth of steak every two days and fifty dollars worth of the perfect fish and have the protein shakes and everything that they need in order to get bigger and stronger it's it, it doesn't take that much to be able to get bigger and pack on some odd you know a good amount of 15 20 pounds worth of muscle in a relatively short amount of time if that's that's what your profession is if that's all you're supposed to do once or twice throughout your career, but you were already a great player by then. So to me, in issues, in, in cases where the juicing and cheating started at an obvious point and turned them into something else, you evaluate whether or not they were already Hall of Famers. So for me, Clemens is, a, is on the fence, probably yes. And Bonds is an absolutely, obviously yes. And McGuire and Sosa are no's. To that, you say what? Uh, well, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Marinate uh, on look, that. I, I think, <laughs> you know what, Max? I think it's a polarizing subject. You can't run away from it. I, I've taken the approach that uh, I think talking about it is best. And uh, look, I, I make no uh, surprise or secrets. I've made my mistakes. I've paid huge penalties. I, I do would love to get in, but I understand that uh, I made my own bed. So if I don't make it to the Hall of Fame, I can live with that. I would be bummed. I would be, it would suck. And, and I can't believe that I put myself in this situation. But if that happens, I have no one to blame but myself. I will tell you for, for Barry and for Roger, I, I love those guys. I, 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 I think they would tell you on their own if they made a mistake or not. I don't know about them. I can only tell you about the mistakes that I made. For, for what it's worth, A-Rod, you have my vote. I, don't, I think you were already a phenomenal player. It would be difficult for me to pinpoint a time where something turned you into something you weren't, where you weren't already a hall. You know, while we're talking about steroids and all that and PEDs, uh, I don't want to get off subject, but wouldn't it be something if Mr. LeBron James pops up hot one of these times or it comes out after his retirement that he was using juice? I mean, this guy, he's got what, um, 18, probably will probably finish up with 20 some odd years with uh, playing in the league with no major injuries has only gotten bigger and stronger the older he's got has lost his hairline has receded back more than Stephen A's I mean packed on a lot of muscle got like I said gotten faster and stronger the older he's got I mean there could be something in a couple of years we might hear something and if you want to talk about the biggest story ever in sports up to that point in time you think lance armstrong was big oh let lebron james piss hot come up hot wow and also let's not forget about his trips to uh florida uh and his name was on a roster or his initials were on a roster of uh peds that were distributed i mean there's a there's, there's a story there there's definitely a story there but that's that's for a different video though famer you would have my vote clemens is a maybe and bonds is an obviously Alex, if you had the opportunity to speak on behalf of Bonds, Clemens, and yourself to make a case for y'all being Hall of Famers, what would you say? <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to make a case for myself. I, I'm, I'm, and, and it's hard for me, uh, Stephen A., to speak about Barry and, uh, and Roger. I could barely speak for myself. Um, but what I will tell you is this. I mean, look, it, it, it's such a moving target. Uh, the Hall of Fame is the most prestigious Hall of Fame uh, still of all time of any sports. And when, I, when we have a day where I have three really good friends uh, in Mariano, in Edgar, and in Musina getting in, uh, there's a small part of me that feels that I got in. And uh, mm -hmm. so I, don't, I, I can't make a case. Uh, I, I, made, no. I made my case when I made my mistakes. And... Uh, I, I, I'm going to have to lay on my bed, so I, I'm still hoping I, I can maybe one day get in. I actually kind of disagree with that. I agree with you, Max. A-Rod is a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Yeah. One of the all-time great rookie years yeah. at the age of, I think he was 21 fame. years old, hit 350-something right. with 30-something home runs and, and played great shortstop. Right. And if that was already cheating, there's no way to prove it. Mm -hmm. And assuming that that was clean, that demonstrates... A-Rod... See, they made a case for you. A-Rod, you are Barry Bonds. Hey, wait, is. you guys are... <laughs> I hold it against... I hold it against...